Good morning, guys. It is quarter after five in the morning. I've been up since four o'clock, and I am wide awake. Um, <laughs> I went to bed at quarter after one, um, and somehow I have energy to burn, although I don't want to be up right now. Um, Shane started a new shift at work. Um, they just tacked on more hours, so he's basically working 14 hours a day, um, and uh, it started today, so he had to be there um, for 5.30. The job started, but he had to be there by 5, so he needs to be up at 4. Anyways, I thought I would get up. I thought he had some dishes, um, but he does, but they're just not that many. Um, and I just don't know what to do. Um, my kitchen is clean, except for those dishes. I don't know. I'm wide awake and feeling like I need to clean something, and I don't know. <laughs> it's 12.38, and let me show you the scene in the living room. Disaster. And then there's this. Happy day. Um, I'm really excited. I just got done talking with my sister-in-law, Sarah, and tomorrow's her birthday, which is so exciting, but she's going to go away with a friend of hers. Um, they're going to go hiking, and the friend of hers has a daughter that's just, I think, a year, year and a half younger than Aubrey, and they're good little friends. So anyways, the daughter's going to go, and Sarah asked if um, Aubrey could go hiking with them as well, so that was so exciting and then um, my in-laws are going to take Colt and they're going to go to the island um, to camp uh, they're getting a new trailer this weekend um, so it's really exciting they I think their old trailer they've had for like 13 years and it was just finally falling apart and they bought a new one um, over the winter and we went and um, looked inside of it and um, just felt like it was so perfect and we're really excited for the summer um, but it's coming up to the island tomorrow so they're going to take Colt with them um, and he's going to have a blast I know it so anyways that means I have a day to myself which is so exciting and I don't know it's just the thought that like I get a day to myself that is just thrilling <laughs> um, so Shane is now working 14 hour days no days off um, and he's up at four in the morning and he's not getting home till like seven. So it's, it's, we're moving into like a, a hard stretch of his work. Um, I'd recently posted on Instagram kind of about his schedule and just about how difficult it is to watch my kids kind of deal with that. Um, and after I thought about it, I got some sweet, sweet comments from people. And after I started to think about it, I was like, our situation is so paltry compared to people that are really dealing with like stressful stuff like I think of you know military families and I think of people like um, who work in the ER and um, just really stressful stressful jobs like his job is stressful but it's not really life or death um, though I say that but people die on his job and they have this year so I don't know it's just it's just hard, the lack of sleep, and um, knowing that when he gets home, he you know needs to take care of himself. He needs to eat and shower, um, and we have the dogs, and they're like, they're not just house pets to us. They are like they're need trained, and um, they're professional working dogs, and um, so you know it's just his time is really stretched thin. So I feel really bad. Um, the good news is is that. He's going to be making some good money, especially this upcoming month, um, and we'll be able to pay for a new roof because um, we need a new roof. I can't tell you how many times people have stopped and knocked on my door and said, hey, can I give you an estimate on your roof? And I'm like, uh, we've had people like leave literature on our car or like our truck and our door. It's just, I'll be so glad when that's done. So we'll get the new roof and... Um, we also have like another really big payment to make that will um this upcoming month we'll kind of pay for which is really awesome um so god is really providing in the midst of this um rough season and i talked about it before but i know that i as a wife need to um 
be my best to be as supportive of him as possible. It's because he's working like he does that we um, are able to do what we do and we're able to afford what we can afford and live like we live, um, which is, I shouldn't say that. I make it sound like we live some certain way and we don't at all. We're very simple people. We don't own anything um, beyond our truck and our house. Like we just, we're very simple kind of people. So I, I don't know why I kind of said that, but um, anyways, it's because of his hard work that I get to be a stay at home mom and I get to homeschool my kids because of it. And I'm just, I'm thankful for him. So anyways, through all of that, I just want to be um, an armor bearer to him and to help him, um, in the best way that I can. So anyways, I didn't mean to really ramble on like that. Um, I'm just, I'm excited about uh, the weekend. So I'm feeling bad that my husband has to work and can't enjoy any of it. So there's that, but I'm gonna grab some lunch. It's almost 2.30. So with um, with waking up at four this morning, I wasn't at all prepared yesterday. He came home from work and said, I have to start my early shifts tomorrow um and i stayed up till quarter after one i was so wired i just couldn't sleep um kind of just i don't know excitement i slept too long in the morning i don't know and um so i couldn't sleep and then of course the alarm went off at like quarter or four o'clock and i was wide awake this morning so, so i'm working on cleaning my laundry room uh, my laundry room is right off my kitchen. It's kind of the door that's often behind me. It has a wreath on it. Um, and this is actually a real mud room. Um, we do our best to keep it tidy and clean because I'm so thankful to have a laundry room. However, we have dogs and they come in and out. And as you can see, dirty little footprints all over the place. And believe it or not, we just swept and mopped this room two nights ago. <laughs> so it's a disaster. Um, I am out here trying to get it all cleaned up. Um, what I've done is run a sink of hot soapy water and I'm just using my cloth and I'm wiping down everything. So I've already wiped down the machines. Um, I still want to do inside of the gaskets. Then I'm going to move on to the cabinetry. Um, I've got lots of junk out here. So some of these Cleaning solutions just need put away. I need to put the dog dish away. Um, we need to wash it. Um, some new cleaning stuff for us. Um, this is a really eco-friendly option, this pink solution stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, and lots of tools and different toys and things that need to go outside, though we just really haven't had outside weather yet. Um, believe it or not, it's like almost the end of May. Um, my kids have really only played outside twice because it's just been really rainy and gross. Um, I need to organize my cabinets better and that's part of the problem in here is that we do have a lot of cabinetry space however um, they're not as organized as I would like this one is it does have some systems in it um, but nothing that I'm finding I can't find really good um, baskets for in here so this is just kind of what I have right now um, I don't know and it's not working very well so I have a different idea in mind that I might try and implement but for now I just need to get this all cleaned up and I've got my Scentsy warmer going I need to change the wax and this little friend hi what are you doing there are you being shy mm -hmm. you are oh dear oh and then over here we've got um, our freezer my stroller because I don't want to put it in the garage because our garage is not a finished garage. It's like a mess. Boots and work clothes and tubs that went for like um, the field trial that need put away. And this room is also filled with mosquitoes. They're so disgusting. They're everywhere. There's probably like 20 mosquitoes in here. So it's making working in here really not fun and <laughs> kind of really gross. So even grosser than it is. So this is my laundry room. Yeah, life is not always... Life is not always beautiful and roses, so I gotta get this place cleaned up. Okay, so I've went through, I've washed all the walls and the doors and the machines um, and all of the cabinetry. It doesn't really look like much, but um, it is good. I am actually gonna throw this rug out. I think it's kind of stinking, so I'm just gonna throw it out um, and I'm gonna do the floors later. I'm not gonna worry so much about 
this whole mess right now because um, that laundry basket needs thrown out and she needs to put that into the garage and probably these furnace filters as well. And then I can take care of this. Um, my boots need thrown out. They have a hole in them. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about this right now. I'm just going to try and work on my cupboards. I've pulled out these bins. Um, I've got a bunch of organizing bins in here. Mainly I want to work with, I have some shoe boxes in here. So I'm going to attempt to see how shoe boxes will work in here because the problem is that this is a bit of a, um, whoa, hello, a bit of a narrower shelf. It's maybe, I'm not sure how deep it is. Um, maybe 12 feet or 12 feet, 12 inches. Um, and I'm not sure how, how deep or wide across, but, um, I'm going to attempt to use shoe boxes and we'll see how that process goes. Cause as you can see, it's just, it's not working. Okay, so here's how it's kind of looking. Um, I was able to condense everything down that was in those bins previously into these shoe boxes. Now, I'm not crazy about the color of these shoe boxes, but I just wanted to make sure that the system would work. And I don't know, I still got a lot of room on the side, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. Um, but for now, I don't know, I guess that's working. So I am gonna go ahead and tackle this junk drawer. Um, <laughs> As you can see, I had attempted systems, but this is a lot of um, husband's domain, and he's not as fastidious, fastidiously organized as I like to be, um, but this is kind of a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and work through this, see if I can add any semblance of organization to this, and throw out any garbage and whatnot. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so about 10 minutes later, this is what it looks like. I mean, how many carabiners does one person need? <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a little drawer for Shane here with writing utensils and some keys and notepads and lip chap and stuff. Um, flashlight on the side. This is just a empty dog dish. I didn't have any more organizing um, bins, so I'm just using the empty dog dish to hold like um, measuring spoons and my soap grater. And these are all of our tapes. Um, some measuring tape. He might want to put these back in the garage. We actually had um, four of them in here and I don't know, he might not want all those in there. Um, this little bin right here, this is just some fasteners and hooks and different things for me um, to hang up pictures and stuff. These are just a couple of flowers that we might plant this year, so I'm just going to keep those there. And that is pretty much it for this drawer. So, um, all of these things need to head back into the garage. Same with the stapler. I need to hang, put that light bulb in the bathroom. Um, so, all these little parts and things here, I don't know what they're all for. I know, obviously, these are some knobs um, that match our kitchen. Um, I think I think these are things for our cabinets. So, I'm going to put them up in this bin. That's where are kind of all of the loose um, supplies are for like screws and different things for the cabinets and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to put those there and then for the most part I'm done. He's got to take care of all of that stuff and I'm feeling kind of accomplished. Okay, so I'm in my room and we, I am, um, getting this all cleaned up. This is the process of cleaning. I'm actually have pulled things out and I'm reorganizing. Um, I'm pulling out all the winter clothes and moving into more like spring summer things. So that's why <laughs> there's a lot of this mess. Um, but yeah, there's like dishes and towels that need washed and all this stuff. Clothes that need put away and I'm reorganizing. It really didn't look this good. <laughs> It really didn't look this bad, but I wanted to just share with you. So these are some winter coats and dirty laundry that need to go out. I want to wash my winter coat, um, and then there's one underneath of it. It's a navy coat. You may have seen me wear it in vlogs. That thing's probably like three or four years old now at this point. The pocket is ripping off. It's time for something new, so I don't know what I'm going to do, whether I donate it um, or just get rid of it because, again, the pocket is falling off. Someone could fix that, but I just... I don't know about that. Anyways, um, I've got all these hats that need to go into storage, um, into Shane's, um, into the bench uh, in the entranceway. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what to do with his jeans. So I had thought of putting them, 
no, not in there. I thought of putting like all of his work t-shirts into this bin because um, this one holds like his heavy sweatshirts and his um, neon orange things that he needs for hunting. So I was thinking of moving all of his work shirts just into this bin here and all of his jeans into that spot right there. Um, that's all a mess. I kind of just threw things in there. That's the next shelf up. So in the back are his, what do you call it? Like long sleeved um, pullovers and a couple long sleeve shirts. And then in the front are his t-shirts. The man has like no color. I think there's one white thing in there and the rest are gray and black. <laughs> so I'm thinking I need to buy him some new t-shirts. So that's what I'm up to. He is um, in a meeting at work and then he'll be um, stopping to pick up some fast food for dinner. It is kind of a treat and everyone is super excited about that. So, and then I just got a text from my sister. She started a YouTube channel and I am so anxious to watch. So, there's my sweet sister. Um, it's Everyday Blessings Julie. Let's just go ahead and subscribe right now. Um, so there she is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to binge watch these videos. So she's the wife of a farmer and she's a homeschooler. Um, and those are my nieces and nephews right there. All of them. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Um, so she's got like a yard sale haul, a day in the life, a get to know me video. Oh, she's amazing. I love her. So anyways, I can't wait to watch her. I will leave her channel link down below. And um, again, it's Everyday Blessings Julie. Yay, I'm so excited. Ah! Uh, I got it. A cheeseburger, mommy. Yay! Let me catch it. Are you oh so excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's your cheeseburger? What? Did I open my toy already? Yeah. Don't want to rip the blue. I'm gonna rip the bag. I'm oh. glad I used muscles. Yeah. You need some help? Yeah, I mean, the so the kids are all ready to go on their little outings today. They got to watch some octonauts while they wait for the grandparents to come pick them up. Aubrey's got her backpack on, looking <laughs> all zoned out. This is Colt's backpack. That little pile behind Aubrey is my laundry that needs to get done. And I still need to get these chairs taken care of. And this coat and high chair need donated. But we're excited for the day. Well, hey guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. I think it's in the 70s. The sun is shining and it's beautiful. <laughs> quintessential beautiful. Um, my kiddos are gone and I'm getting ready to head out. I am feeling a little restless on this Saturday. Um, I have a lot of projects that I want to do. Most I don't feel like I can do myself. Um, we have a lot of landscaping things to do with our house. Everything outside needs to be done except um, like we re-bricked our house, we resided, uh, re resided it, put in all new windows, but we need a new roof, we need landscaping, we need like a new front uh, step, a back deck, just a ton of stuff needs done. Um, and we should actually be getting a new roof here very soon. In fact, the roofer came over this morning, but I didn't even, I didn't know he came over. Um, I didn't even hear about it till like eight o'clock that he had come. So anyways, I hesitate to put in any flower beds because the roofing is going to get done and I don't want my flower beds to get ruined. I'm planning on putting white hydrangea bushes in the front of my house. It's going to be so beautiful. But in the meantime, it's just grass and it's ugly. Um, so anyways, I have a couple projects that I do want to do. I'm going to try and go to get some flowers and maybe some mulch. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I think I'm going to go to HomeSense and to Michael's. So I'm gonna get out of here and go do those things. I'm kind of excited uh, just to have this day to myself. Time is ticking away, so I'm gonna get out of here and go enjoy. Oh, hey guys, I am home. It is six o'clock on the dot. I got home about, oh, 40 minutes ago or so. I had some dinner, um, kind of unpacked a couple things that I picked up today. 
and just relax for a few minutes. Um, I did end up getting a few flowers today. Um, it was a very kind of intimidating process for me and some of you might laugh because <laughs> you buy flowers all the time and it's no big deal. You're great at gardening. I'm not. This is like totally new to me. I come from a long line of like wonderful gardeners. There are people in my family who own greenhouses and all kinds of things, but I don't know anything about gardening. Um, and so it was intimidating to just kind of walk through. Um, I had an idea of things that I wanted, um, but as I think I mentioned earlier, we're doing just so many outside projects this year um, that just things that need to get done. And basically our yard is like, <laughs> I feel like it's a construction zone. It's not quite, but it is. Um, and so it's just, it's just hard to figure out what I can do and can't do. So I did come home with a few things. I picked up a couple of plants, mostly herbs. Um, I picked up three. <laughs> um, I had wanted to put in a really big garden this year, or like a manageable size, I guess I should say, because it's my first year. Um, and with Shane's work schedule, he just wasn't able to build me like garden boxes. Um, and we just don't have the capability to till the soil and whatnot to do like, you know, just a regular garden in the ground. So um, the thought was that maybe we would just purchase garden boxes. So far we haven't found any or whatever um and today is actually the first frost like on you know the hardiness zone for our area it is today's the last day for frost so today is actually the day that people would be planting um so yes yeah, so i'm not behind um if i buy started plants and whatnot so i'm not behind so hopefully that can maybe still happen i don't know we'll see anyways he's gonna be home pretty soon I did pick up some um, mulch, <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a bit of a mulching project around um, the dog kennel, um, and so put that down. We're going to hang some um, hanging baskets on the front of it, um, make it kind of look nice and cute. It still needs sided. Um, I know at one point people thought my dogs stay outside all the time, and they don't. They live in our home, but we do have a really large dog kennel for them to be in, you know to be dogs in um during the day and whatnot so um and then when we're also there's a mosquito um and then also when we're not home they can go in the kennel rather than being in their um crates <sighs> all that to say i am going to go plant these flowers before shane gets home because he's going to stop and get some um hooks so that we can hang them up
I don't think he can hear you, bud. Daddy! Here he is. Daddy! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's almost 9.30. It's still so light, which is crazy. Um, Shane's mowing the lawn. This is the first time that he's been able to, and the kids are very excited that he's mowing the lawn, and they keep shouting at him in hopes that he'll he'll wave at them, but he can't even really hear them. But when he does, they get so excited. So that's what we're doing now.